Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, welcome to our vlog again. So today we're gonna talk about about what? <laughs> about company letter. Okay. So who's gonna talk first? Me. You. Okay. I want to start this. Yes. So a company letter is a type of letter you. written to address any type of right doing. Eh, I'm sorry. Uh, any type of wrongdoing. Offense, grievance, resentment arising out of a product, service, etc. Company letters are used to raise your concern about unfair things and seek a productive outcome. They are also used to vent out your pain of emotion arising out of your suffering or bad experience. It is a fundamental right and duty of a citizen to seek justice arising out of any injustice, uh, which is needed by a complaint. Complaint letters then become your first step towards your consumer right. They inspire other hassle consumers, influence the concerned authorities toward taking proper action and, and make the devol defaulter more liable, responsible and responsive. Uh, this is because unresponsive behavior of the offender is liable to a punishable court proceeding or an expensive lawsuit. Then next one. Structures reminders. One. Appropriate letter format. Example, dear Mr. and Miss. Two, why I am writing. Examples, I am writing to complain. Three, reasons for my complaint. Examples, broken TV, cut my hand on the glass. Four, evidence. Examples, it doesn't turn on, and there was broken glass in the box when I opened it. Five, persuasive techniques. Examples, I am disgusted. Can you imagine how painful it was cutting my hand? Six, what I want to happen now. Examples, I demand an immediate refund. Seven, sum up my feelings. Examples, I hope you appreciate how horrified I am. Eight, appropriate ending. Examples, yours sincerely. Uh, write, to, write a complaint letter based on this situation. One, incomplete or defective order. Two, abnormal delay in sending the person. Three, the goods arrived in damaged condition. 4. The goods are different from what were ordered. 5. Quantity of goods is not what was ordered. 6. Goods are delivered at the wrong address. 7. Work undertaken is done unsatisfactorily. 8. Misbehavior of staffs or salesmen. 9. Mistake in preparing the invoice. 10. Defective packing that might lead to damage of goods in transit. 11. Mistakes in a bill or reminders for payment after a bill has been paid, etc. Okay, uh, next is writing your complaint letter. First, address your letter to the customer service department. When writing a letter of complaint, your best chance of success will come from directing the letter to the customer service department of the company. The customer service department is accustomed to dealing with complaints and your letter is likely to be processed efficiently and effectively. Second, quickly get to the point of your letter. The very first line of your letter should clearly address why you are writing the letter and what your exact complaint is. Give as many pertinent facts as possible, including the date, time, and location where you made the purchase or received the service, along with any relevant serial or model numbers. Third, state specifically what outcome or remedy will satisfy you. If you want a replacement, a refund, a repair, or some other form of compensation, state this clearly in your second paragraph. This will help to avoid receiving a form letter or other stock response and give the recipient something to work with on their end. Fourth, attach copies of supporting documents. This may include receipt, receipt guarantees, warranties, copies of check you send, and if appropriate, photos or videos. All documentation should be included with your letter. Fifth, give them a time limit to resolve the matter. It is helpful to provide an exact time period within which you, which you would like the issue to be resolved. This will give you peace of mind and will help bring the issue to a speedy conclusion. Six, finish the letter respectfully. Thank the recipient for their assistance and let them know how and when they can reach you to resolve the matter. This will make their job a lot easier, resulting in a more efficient outcome for you. So, achieving the correct tone and format. First, be polite. You may be angry and have every right to be, but being rude will only put the recipient on the defensive. 
uh, when in a disrespectful tone and avoid making threatening, angry, or sarcastic comment at all costs. Remember that the person reading your letter was not directly responsible for whatever happened, and they will be much more responsive and willing to please a gracious, polite customer than an angry, accusatory one. And second, be, con be concise. Eh, be concise. Customer service rep representative may receive as many as hundreds of letters in a day, so it's vital that uh, it's vital that you get to the point quickly, so they know exactly what they're dealing with as soon as they begin reading. If your letter is too long or detailed, the reader will be inclined to skim eh, to skim its content and end, end up with an idea of the exact problem or your desired resolution. And three, be authoritative. Being authoritative in your letter, just the right tone and let the company know that your complaint is to be taken seriously. This is especially true of more serious complaints, which may have considerable financial implications. Yes. Okay. Fourth, format your letter in a clean, correct way. As mentioned above, formatting your letter in a professional way can preferably influence how your complaint is received. Include your name, address, and the date in the top right hand corner, followed by the name or title of the person you are writing to, along with the company's address on the left hand side just above the body of the letter. And last, check spelling and grammar. Incorrect spelling and grammar can negatively influence how your complaint is received. Make sure to do a spell check on your computer before printing the letter, or have someone else read it over before you send it. Method. Method 3 of 3, following up. 1. Wait until the time limit you provide is up. Be patient and do not pursue any further action until the time limit you provide in your initial letter is up. If this date passed and you still haven't heard anything, you may follow up with a phone call or email to check if the letter was received. It is always best to give the company the benefit of the doubt. 2. Proceed along the chain of command. If you are unsuccessful, unsuccessful in your dealing with the customer service director, try to find out who the next person in the chain of command is and reach out the, to them instead. It's time you move up to the ladder, whether it is from customer rep to supervisor to director to vice president to CEO. Attack the correspondence you have had at the previous level. This will update your new company representative at very and very possibly get the matter resolved in a non-litigious way. <laughs> 3. If you wish to pursue legal action, see an attorney. He or she will know how to proceed. Keep in mind that legal action will be your last resort and leading within your letter says a negative tone and will derail any request for compensation you may ask for at the same time. It also may come back to bite you if your bluff is full. Okay, that's all for us. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.